Everyone, well maybe not everyone, knows about the food pyramid already. But maybe not a physical pyramid. You know what I'm talking about? Physical pyramid. This is a physical activity pyramid. The activities are sedentary activities, anaerobic activities, flexibility activities, aerobic activities, and moderate intensity physical activities. We will only do the top part of the physical activity pyramid since the video is already 4 minutes above so we can do something else besides that. Hello baby. I pretty sure I know she uh, Dad, would you be quiet? I'm tired of talking to my girlfriend. Uh -huh. Sorry, baby, that was my dad. He always speaks that loud. So, what are you gonna do all day? Wait, I'm, not, I'm going to do that all day too. Uh, hang on, so I gotta go I'll talk to that camera. Talking on the phone is a sedentary activity. You shouldn't do that very frequently. It's not healthy to your body and it's preventing you to do some other physical activities. Other sedentary activities like this are watching TV and playing video games and serving on the internet. Sorry, that was the camera. Push-ups are an anaerobic activity. Other anaerobic activities are bicep curl, abdomen curl, bench press, calf raise, shoulder press. Two more, man, two more. You should do an anaerobic activity at least two to three times in, um, per week. These types of workouts help define all of your major muscle groups. That's what I'm talking about. Ugh. Yeah, another physical activity is stretching. Yeah, stretching is falling under the flexibility category. Other flexibility activities are side lunge, step stretch, hurdle stretch, calf stretch, and yoga stretches. My favorite. It helps you extend your growth. Nine inches. Yeah. And you, it works on all your major joints to help you become more flexible. You should do this stretches before and after. All major activities. No!
going to do is stretch it. 